at Azusa Pacific, I'll never forget one specific chapel where we'd been praying for a certain missionary who had been kidnapped by some drug cartel in South America. And we prayed for him for several weeks for his release. And one of those chapels, when I went, we sang the songs and I anticipated, let's pray for the missionary once again. But he said, we're not gonna pray for Chet Betterman today. We're gonna pray for his family. He's been shot. When chapel was done, I still was riveted to my chair, the room cleared out, and I felt God continued to talk to me and say, Don, what about you? This guy gave his whole life. He loved the people, he even loved his enemy to the very end. What, how far are you willing to go? And I remember that was a day of total surrender for me. I said, God, whatever you want, whatever it costs, wherever, I'll go. The backbone really of who Eli is, is knowledge. That knowledge really changes everything. And as we're working with different people, we get to know them and care about them. And so God really began to grow this vision of having a training center where we would be able to have all these different ideas at one location so that people from all over the country could come and learn things like how to raise chickens for the maximum production, how to improve the milk production from their dairy cows how to grow the maximum amount of food in small spaces using a vertical garden strategy, even income generating, like growing oyster mushrooms in a little thatched mud house. There is a multitude of ideas, and we want to be that bridge to bring these ideas to the poor who need them the most. We've been able to expand the borders of our organization, establish two children's homes where we're now really raising up the future of Kenya of over 200 kids to know God, to love Him, and to have a solid education. In fact, in many ways, they're already changing the schools that they attend. We could immediately solve a lot of problems, but in the process of immediately solving that, we're not building their life for the long haul. You see, as we were training families, we continued to see some people begin to move ahead, only then to be bankrupt. And as we followed, especially some of the women, we said, what happened with your business? What happened here? They'd say, my husband, he's an alcoholic. Alcohol is something which ties you. It is like when it, you see these bulls, where when they are given their rings. So you, you make sure that that bull does not move from where you have confined it at. There was a big change began in my heart and my thinking. When I stopped drinking, I started the greenhouse. And some of the guys he used to drink with now have also seen the transformation and have said, teach us, Samuel, how do we do this? Lives can change. Lives can be transformed. Lives can be empowered. One life, one family, transforming another family, and then another. To me, that's an empowered life.